Hi guys, it's Debbie from What's Mama Cooking For Us. And today I'm gonna to make some bok choy. So let's go over the ingredients. This is a simple, simple, easy recipe. I love to get cabbage at like with a side with my Chinese food. But, so I just make my own because, and I like to eat it with rice or different things. But, and it's, 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 a, it's a Chinese cabbage. I don't know if I just said that. <laughs> I can't remember if I just did or not. But we need some olive oil. Salt and pepper, the bok choy, this is the, the stem part, and these are the leaves, and you can eat both. And just got to cook it a little bit different. I got some um, yellow, or orange and red bell peppers, some garlic and some serrano peppers, and some um, sliced uh, red onion. And um, I got my pan getting hot over here. So we got, we're going to put about a tablespoon of oil. You don't need too much. And we're going to throw those onions in. And I got my heat on medium. But I'm kind of not, I don't know if I want to call it stir frying, but you know, you know I'm kind of going to cook it up fast. <laughs> okay. So then we'll put these peppers in. Always good and healthy. We have some peppers. I like to have green peppers, but I've been getting my orders delivered and they've been out of green peppers, but they're my favorite. The red to me seem too sweet. <laughs> I don't know if that's just me or they're supposed to be sweeter because they're not as ripe. They turn green when they're all the way ripe. You don't need a lot of oil to fry these up because that way they'll get a little crispy. Tastes really good, and uh, the the cabbage stores um, sit, stores well in the fridge. Just keep it in a container. Wash it up when you get it home. Keep it in a container. It stores up good, and it lasts. This is gonna last when I'm making, you know, about two three days, and um, I'll eat it for a couple of days, and then I'll make another batch because that's how much I like it. So yeah, let's put the garlic in. And those serranos, and I love those serranos. Let's not miss one. Or you could just use hot pepper flakes or any peppers that you like to use for cooking. And get those all stirred. Mmm, smelling good already. As soon as that garlic hit the pan. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll show you where we're going next. Okay, I forgot to put the salt and pepper. That's where we're going next. <laughs> so let's put some pepper. And I like a lot of pepper, but you put as much as you like, probably a quarter teaspoon. And then I got some sea salt, or probably about a half a teaspoon. And I always undercook all my vegetables, including the bok choy. So you cook yours as long as you like until it's the softness that you like. Because, of course, it's your dinner and your food, and you're the one that's going to be eating it. So I call it, well, they call it... <laughs> Un, um, al dente, so that's, I call mine undercooked, I just, undercooking everything, I just, I like that bite, I just, I gotta have that bite, so yeah, I think that's about ready, we can start putting in the cabbage, let me get one more second here, and if you hear some knocking over there, that's my doggy eating, eating, so we're gonna put the white cabbage in first, so that can start cooking down, and then we do the leaves after the leaves. Uh, leaves. <laughs> Find your words, Gabby. Okay. So look at that. Doesn't that look delicious, you guys? So we're just gonna put a top a cover on there. And let that steam and get going. Steam up the camera too. Bye. <laughs> okay, guys. I let this cook about four minutes. I put some. I put a splash of water, about a tablespoon, just to get the cabbage uh, going. Now I'm gonna put these in. And I put, kept the top on it for the whole four minutes and stirred it like twice. And then I'm gonna do the same with this. I think I'm gonna put a little water again. Yeah, so just a, like a splash, like this, not much. 
just to get everybody jumping. And then give it a stir and then put your top right back on. Okay, it's all done. Now, um, during the video I was saying how I cooked mine for four minutes for the white and then two minutes for the green. So if you want, you cook yours for about six minutes for the white and four minutes for the green. That way it would probably be easier for, or better better for you. I, I undercook my stuff a lot. So it's it's I like to make sure that you understand this is going to be. But yeah, you just take a fork and, and um, poke it and make sure it's tender. Okay, so let me just show you. I'll put a fork, put a fork in it so you can just see the difference. And try to cut them the same size, but I like to have different different textures and stuff but yeah it looks really good i was planning on making this with regular cabbage but my food order didn't have my cabbage that i ordered so i had to go with what i have mm, and this looks so good and i'm gonna eat the whole thing and for you carb counters you practically don't even have to count these you could eat a whole head of bok choy before you'd have to count it for a carb so that's because it's just a vegetable Okay, but you do have to count your rice and beans. And um, I did a video earlier on these rice and beans. So if you want to check that out, guys. Um, there for one cup of rice and beans is uh, 36 total carbs. So that counts for three of your carb servings when you're counting your carbs. So you could still have maybe a slice of bread if you want it or some milk or something else that you, you count for your carbs. And um, I, I'm drinking tea, flavored tea. And this is sauerkraut, and I just have a small salad tonight because I've been having, you know, large salads, and this is going to fill me up tonight. And um, I, the sauerkraut is a fermented sauerkraut that I buy in the store in the refrigerator section, and it's in the meat department. And it's fermented, so it's good for you. It's good for your stomach. And people like to take yogurts and different things for the pro prebiotics and stuff, but sauerkraut works just as good, and... It, it's got to be fermented, and the only way to know whether it's been fermented or not, well, of course, if you make it yourself, but it will not have vinegar in it. So I hope you guys give this a try. This looks delicious. Let me give it a bite. Look at that. Ooh, so good. Mmm, really good. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, uh, check out my Mexican rice and beans in the oven recipe. I just made that. And um, give this a try, and I hope it helps you guys out, and I hope you enjoy it. And subscribe if you're new. Thanks for stopping by to, to see my videos. And uh, stop over to my Facebook page. Join us over there. And tell my regular viewers, I want to thank you so much for continuing support and watching my videos. And, uh, yeah, thanks, guys.